In this video, we're going to take a look at building an Azure Data Factory from an ARM Quick Start template. And if you're familiar with Azure Data Factory v1, a couple of things I want to point out that are different in v2. The first is that in Azure Data Factory v1, when you would build factories and pipelines, those pipelines with the activities and the data sets would be associated with uh, schedules that had to do with availability of data sets. And uh, you would configure start times, end times, you would pause the pipelines, and you would have a concept of a time window for data availability. That concept is, uh, is changed in, in Azure Data Factory v2, where scheduling is a separate resource within your factory, and uh, those schedules run on a wall clock, a, essentially a scheduler. You could also invoke and execute your pipelines from an external resource, such as an event or an external uh, scheduler. And so the um, what that means in understanding what you're going to do here with building a Azure Data Factory pipeline with a template is that the factory and the pipeline will get created and that uh, pipeline does not execute until you actually invoke it or schedule it. And so it's really a two-step process. So let's start by looking at the Creative V2 Data Factory Quick Start template. And in here you're going to see uh, two different really resources. The first is the ARM template that generates the pipeline in the factory. And we're going to walk through that in a second. But the second one I want to point out is the PowerShell script. It's also in here called Run Monitor. That will um, allow you to, uh, will, will give you a script that can invoke that pipeline that is created for you. Uh, so you have to do that as a second step. And it will also monitor the status of that pipeline. Now this sample is really um, the a quick start template that is intended to get you up and running as quickly as possible in Azure Data Factory v2. Uh, all it really does is, is copy a file uh, from one blob to another. And so in this case, what I'm going to uh, show you as a demo is I'm going to use it to build a uh, very quick and easy factory pipeline that's going to copy a CSV file and uh, keep it in the same folder in blob storage and it's just going to give it a different name. So it'll, it'll give you a way to kind of get started and to understand what Azure Data Factory v2 uh, does and uh, some of the concepts within um, ADF. So the first thing to do is on the template is to click Deploy to Azure, and that's going to invoke the ARM template, which has a series of parameters that you'll be prompted to fill in on this next screen. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name, and we're going to give it uh, my storage account and what file we want to copy. So I'm going to use my internal subscription, and I'm going to use an existing my resource group that I have already. And then I'll give this a name, so let's call this my ADF V2 Quick Start. That's good enough. And the storage account is going to be this one. Yes, I believe that's correct. Let me check my storage explorer. Do you? Yeah, that's right. Now I need the uh, storage account key, so I'll just get that here from my storage explorer. The container I'm using is called Mark K DHI. And the folder is called uh, example. So if you look at my folder, I have a file, a CSV file there called awdw.csv. Venture works data warehouse.csv. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that file in the same folder. I'll just have I'll ask Data Factory to copy that as awdw2.csv. So we just agree to the terms and conditions, and we click Purchase. And that will now uh, execute that <clears throat> ARM template against my subscription in Azure. And will create that factory for me. So go over to my data factories, refresh my view. And there it is. So it was created. And now you can see in the portal for Azure Data Factory, uh, when you create a V2 data factory, um, this is still in public preview at the time of this recording, and so what you see in the preview is uh, really basically a set of monitoring uh, that you can uh, perform to look at the invocations of your uh, factory, of your pipeline. Pipeline runs, the activity runs within those pipelines, and every time you trigger that pipeline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to execute that pipeline to monitor it. So like I said earlier, to do that, we're going to use that PowerShell script. So uh, wrong screen. PowerShell script is here. This is what you download from the Quick Start uh, link. 
and I've already logged in so make sure that you log in and then what I'm going to do is uh, when I'm logged in through PowerShell I'm going to now run the script so the script requires two parameters the resource group name and the name of the data factory and that is not the name I chose the name I chose is my ADF v2 quick ds I'm not sure why I used d in there but whatever there we go good that should do it and once you execute that script what's going to happen now is that we'll have what's essentially called a um, run ID associated with that running of that pipeline and so now the script will take that run ID and it will uh, use that to monitor that process so over here on your portal you'll be able to uh, view whether or not that failed or succeeded as well as you'll be able to see it here in the progress of the uh, PowerShell script and then if we go over to our storage explorer we can refresh and we can see that indeed it has executed that pipeline and it has created a second copy of that file and so that pretty much is is it for uh, the walkthrough of using the quick start template to get your first Azure Data Factory v2 up and running thanks for watching